exciting time. And you know why it's so exciting? It's because we're actually changing Fable 3. We're moving more towards the action adventure and we're diminishing a little bit the RPG. We still love RPGs, we still adore RPGs, but we also love the drama and the excitement that action adventure games bring. We've got a completely new GUI system. I know this sounds boring, but those two-dimensional lists that role-playing games have, I hate. The GUI is new for Fable 3 in that it's going to be um, 3D and interactive in a very 3D environment. So you'll be able to walk through the GUI and treat it as if it's just another part of the Fable world. Here, it's a level that's had a little bit of polish put into it with nice buildings which pop up to show you that uh, you can have a little look at them. I want dressing rooms where I can change my clothes. I want armories where I can craft my weapons. I want war rooms where I can strategize. You'll be able to walk into, for example, a clothing room. You'll see uh, statues dressed up with all the clothing that you've collected, so you can see at a glance whether you think the trousers all look good on you, that kind of thing. And you can see here we've got some outfits that we've collected during our time in the game. You'll be able to scroll through your different outfits to see what you've collected. And then just in real time, I can just have a quick run around, see if I like it. One of the things about Fable is the humour. You know, people have said, oh, it's a British humour, it's a bit like Monty Python. So we, we were inspired by that, and so we went out there and we got the most iconic Monty Python character ever. John Cleese is one of the major players in Fable 3. OK. I've got a, some strange man in here who's moving around. I play Jasper, who is the butler at the Royal Palace, and he was originally a butler to the king who's gone all wrong, the naughty one. And now he is uh, the great and faithful and loyal attendant mm -hmm. on the young fella who's going to become the hero, or the young girl who's going to become the heroine. The bottom half of your chicken suit has arrived, and I've prepared it for you. Yes, this is exactly the sort of future I imagined for myself when I got into butling. He's a little form one because he's an old-fashioned British-style battler. But the warmth and the, the emotional identification with the hero or heroine is very strong. Ah, a new mask. You'd be completely anonymous wearing this on your face. Wear it anywhere else on your person. I expect you would achieve exactly the opposite effect. Your butler will be very unique to you. He's recording more lines than almost anyone there else in the cast because of that. After that, you are to continue your combat training with Sir Walter. <laughs> you start Fable 3, it's kind of like you started Fable 1 and Fable 2. You start fairly powerless, and what you've got to do is you've got to bring together followers to overthrow this tyrant king. On your journey to overthrowing that king, you're going to make people promises. And I love the relevance to today. Because what you'll find is the promises you make are going to have to be fulfilled. But just like presidents and prime ministers in today's world, it's so hard to keep those promises. The trouble with most leaders is that ultimately they just want to be in charge. And uh, they may cover it up under the feeling that they want to do good or make these changes. But basically, they're just like being top dog. And then about halfway through the game, you become king or queen. You rule Albion. It's that feeling of power, of dominance. You know, we've all asked ourselves this question, well, if I was in control, I would change this. Well, now with Fable 3, you have that choice. As I play through Fable, sure enough, the experience is what the Fable fans will love, absolutely. But also, there's an element of uniqueness here, which I feel lots more people enjoy. There's drama, there's emotion, there's a feeling of power, there's excitement. And I think we are really learning to blend all that stuff together and deliver an experience in Fable 3 that really hasn't been seen before. And so you have gathered every last piece of the ladies' pyjamas. Gosh, that would make an excellent closing line for a novel, wouldn't it? A great cliffhanger.